Okay, so hello everyone. This time I'm going to be teaching you on how to add the Night Elf Birth and Death animations. And we're going to be using the Night Elf Villages as an example. Now if you notice, the Night Elf Villages, as you know, do not have the Birth animations of the Night Elves. And its Death animation pretty much resembles that of your typical buildings. Okay, so anyway, let's begin. Okay, so now we have the fishing village model. And this time, as I said before, we're going to be adding the Night Elf uh, birth and death animations. And I've, as I've said in my previous video concerning the undead birth animation, the Night Elf animations are the easiest. This is because it's already in game and what happens is basically the model kind of like summons it. Uh, so if we go to the uh, War 3 MPQ and open the shared models, you can actually see the models for the birth and death portions. So for example, here this is the Night of Birth animation. So this is what you see when you build night elf buildings and then in addition you also have the night elf death animations in particular the buildings so for example we have let's see this is one This is for the units. So for the death animation, you have it under objects. So again, when night of buildings die, this is what you see. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this to this campaign building. Or if in your case, you can add it into your own buildings. So first things first. As I've said before, the in-game model for this one has a sort of a human or arc-like death animation. So first things first, what we're going to do is kind of like delete it. So if you look closely, these particles are actually related to the human or arc-like death or even creep-like death of most buildings. So. Okay, and next things first, let's save it. Okay, let's save it as an MDL. And then, as a reference, let's open the Moonwell. Again, it's the closest building to the Night of Fishing Village. So we're going to be using the Moonwell as our basis this time. Now we can open it in Notepad. So first things first, let's add a burst animation. Okay, so we have it here. So again, when adding new animations, you have to make sure that, again, there's no overlap with other animation and you have to maintain the sequence. So if you look closely, uh, the sequences for each animation increases as you go uh, below. So first things first, we will use the stand animation as the basis burst. And then for the interval, but again, we need to add so that it's still in order. So for example, 
let's make it into in the 200,000 oops there and then make sure you adjust the number of sequences and again save so far so good now if you open the elephant fishing village you now have an additional birth oh it still stand forgot to change the name you can change it here and again for the birth animation don't forget to set it to non-looping okay so you now have an additional animation you have the birth death decay portrait now if you notice during the birth animation the portrait background still appears so you need to make it disappear during the birth animation so you click Listen. again in this new model it's set at or rather the birth animation begins at this so you add it there and then set it to zero now if you notice most buildings do not um, or rather the most meshes of the model don't immediately appear during the beginning of the birth animation because again supposedly this is where you see the root part so in order to add that uh, kind of like uh, roots growing portion during the birth animation you copy this one from the moon well and the burst link and then for the pass you double click and again here you go now for the visibility you need to remember that you want this uh, root thing to appear only during the burst animation so what you do is for the burst animation during the start you set it to 1 and then in the end you set it to 0 and then for the other for the other animation you set it to 0 as well stand portrait decay and death again set it all to 0 Now for the death animations, again, the night of uh, the death animations of night of buildings have their own distinct sound. So again, you copy it for the pre-existing pre one. However, for the other portions, you kind of need to copy it. So you have this spawn object. Again, double click, and again, it appears during the death animation. So spawn and then add this and again don't forget to set the and then again another event object which occurs during the death animation Okay. Now, if you notice again, we don't want the main building to appear immediately during the beginning. So, this is where you have to copy the GeoSet animations so for the moon well. can find for this portion find the equivalent geoset animation so here you go and then if you check again in the moon well the burst animation starts at 3333 but the main 
meshes of the building only appears at 48,333. So we're kinda gonna copy this same. Again, move. For the main building, find the equivalent geoset animation. And again, the burst animation, we adjusted it so you also need to make the necessary adjustment. So, and then it appears during around 48,000. Okay. So again, as you can see, during the burst animation, the very building itself doesn't appear immediately. You have the desk, decay, portrait, and stand. And again, I need to double check. Oh, before I forget, you also need to check for the burst link. Check if the scaling is different. So again, there's a set scaling. And you all need to copy it and make the necessary adjustments during the burst animation. Okay. And then once you're finished, you resave it as an M MDX file and then you import it. Now we're going to see if it works. Okay, so now we're back and this time we're going to check if the building now indeed has the Night Elf Burst and Death animations. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so for the Burst animation... Again, we have the roots, and then it's going to appear a little while. So I guess we're done. And as I've said before, the Night Elf building and death animations are the easiest among the bunch. So I guess that's it for now. Bye.